what study tips that you found really helpful and you recommend other students doing? Oh yeah, everybody now. So the first thing would be um, invest in a course. Um, invest in a course, like um, any course that you know that it's going to help you out um, because you'll learn a lot from it. Second of all will be time management. Make sure that you um, determine what's your priority. If passing the EIT, it's one of the things that you want to do and, and put a time limit. Hey, I want it in, in a year or two years or three years in my case. Then put a time limit because that's going to push you pretty much to, um, to focus and be determined and concentrate just on that. And the third one is like, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself that you could do it, that you could do it. Yeah, um, there's times that there's going to be times that you're going to feel like you don't know it, that, oh, man, I shouldn't do it. Just don't quit. Just believe in yourself because who else is who else is going to believe in you? It's like you, you're you the only one that knows yourself. So just keep going, keep going. And it's going to take us long. Some of us, it takes us longer. But, hey, we're still got, getting the same certification as the person that just took it once. <laughs> so that's the only three, three um, advices that I would give them. Yeah. Just, just to uh, keep going, uh, don't give up, uh, keep working hard, and eventually it will pay off. Um, it's okay to have days where you don't feel motivated or want to do anything, but make sure you just get back on that horse and keep going forward, uh, and you can do it. Practice exams. Yep, knowing when you're comfortable with the material and working through practice exams. Um. Yeah, I, I still think that 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 repetition is key. Um, you know, again, like you and I have already discussed, this this is not an experience test; it's an academic test. And so, being prepared with an understanding of the material and knowing how to uh, manipulate what it is that you know in order to effectively apply it to the problem. Yeah, I, I think that's the key. And then I know you said one thing, but the other one is always know your handbook. <laughs> Yeah, there was a question that I got. I don't even remember the subject matter. I had not looked at it at all and just did a search with my handbook and was able to find enough. I don't obviously don't know if I got the question right or not, but I, I felt pretty confident about it, but was able to derive what it was that I found in the handbook in order to apply it to the question and have an answer, have a seemingly educated answer, let's put it that way. Um, I guess push yourself and uh, chase your dreams. Uh, if you if you think you made it, you 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 studied really hard. You put your time in it. Sign the sign up for the uh, exam. Don't worry about passing or failing. Go take the exam, and that's the only thing you have in your control. Results are not in your control. If you fail, go back to it and just keep it simple. Keep studying. Do the problems. Look over the problems and just push yourself. That's it. Challenge yourself. Self push yourself, and one day I guess result will be in your favor. First, I would highly recommend your course. <laughs> and then I would just say, do not give up. Do not give up. Because I could, I was in that place where I didn't want to, to study anymore. Because like I said, it's very time consuming. But do not give up. Just take that time and dedication. It will make you feel very fulfilled. And it can also change your career path as well. And so um, you just don't want to get boxed in and have limitations on what you can do as a civil engineer. And so that was my my greatest motivation to get my EIT. And I would uh, encourage anyone to to pursue it. Don't get discouraged. Just take the time to lock in and study just for for three months, three or four months can change your whole career path. So study to number one i'd say take away the time pressure because mm -hmm. it is it is intimidating to think that you have 110 questions within a five hour time frame uh basically would leave you to three minutes per question to answer it makes you think you should be able to do that in your studying but how i look at it it's like your studying time is like practicing on how if I would look at your studying as like a huge practice exam. That's your time to screw up, to goof up, to punch in numbers wrong in your calculator. But take note of that. I, that's how I would do it is like when I would 
go over a problem. And there would be times like, honestly, the only mistake I would do, like I would look line for line, everything was right. I typed it in wrong in the calculator and I put in the wrong answer and that's why I got it wrong. And so I would write mental, mental notes, like I would write it down and I'd say, pay attention to how you insert the numbers in your calculator. And I would write that. You can look at my notebooks. I'd have that like 20 times. And I would get those problems wrong because I punched it in wrong. And so um, <laughs> some of those notes I felt helped me. And I think maybe that's another tip number two is like talk to yourself a lot. And, and I think that's something we don't really think about. But you actually do talk to yourself a lot while you're studying. Like you, you are going through this experience with yourself. A third tip, like I think it's pretty obvious, is like our phones are with us a lot. And just for me, I had to put it in another room. Um, and, and maybe it's kind of like putting studying into bite-sized bite -size chunks. So maybe, maybe an hour is too much. But what if you break it up into like two half an hours? And so what you do is like you say, I'm going to study for 30 minutes straight and then I'll go to my phone for like five minutes and then I come back, get back to it, do my last 30 minutes. Um, and so that that was something else, too, that helped me is that I used to think maybe the like a fourth tip would be not to designate huge study hours. And, and, and I know like some of us, we have full time jobs. We're, we're parents. Um, we have other responsibilities like we can't have studying for the FE as our only sole dedication to do right like that's not the life we live in so i know some of us are able to put more extra hours on your fridays or your saturdays and sundays um but even then i would i would have my saturdays as like uh like a relaxation time like that was my my designated day to relax and so whether that be like going out for movies, going out to eat with family, but I knew like I wasn't going to study that day. And then Sunday, get back to it and then maybe, maybe do a four hour or two hour, but it wasn't going to be like, I, I, that was another thing. Another tip of is like, pay attention to how you talk to yourself about studying. It's like, I don't have to study. I get to study. Like I get to learn today how to do transportation. Or today I get to learn how to do sex. And so that helped me too, instead of like looking at studying as a chore or looking at it as a thing I had to get through. And so it's kind of like, how, how are you gonna navigate yourself through this? Are you gonna like push yourself through it like in a more like unpleasant way or like how can you make it in a more constructive way? Nah, I mean, I don't, I don't wanna sound cliche, but this course, uh the schedule like keeping a schedule and like uh, like uh like sticking to it like you're gonna study two hours every day you're gonna study five hours on the weekend like don't break the schedule and like create like create that schedule and like block the time off i know you told us to do that and that's like kind of what i did like i'm not available like two hours after i get off work i'm not available like the first five hours on a Saturday, the first five hours I wake up on Sunday. I'm not like, I can't do anything. I'm studying, you know? Um, and the third thing, yeah, just be confident that you can, you can pass it. Like, you know, it's not, and then if you fail, it's not the end of the world, but you know, it's like, you have to have confidence in yourself because like, if you don't, you may get in the exam and start second guessing like your own, you, you will second guess your own self. And you, you know, I feel like every, I, you know, I feel like people, if you're taking the effort to study, you, you're capable of passing it, but like, just kind of have that, like belief in yourself because like I didn't for a while. So I know how it feels to like, not feel like, oh, I don't feel like I can pass this exam. But it's like, you know, I studied four months and then I went in and I passed it. so it's like, I feel like any, anybody else can do it too, you know, just, you know, put the time in and the work in and just have confidence. Like, Hey, I've, I studied this long. I studied this much stuff. Like I can go in here and work out these problems. You know, like we're engineers at the end of the day. Like you can go, you can work out those problems. So yeah, just have confidence. Um, like I said, just follow this course and follow, you know, and get a schedule. It doesn't have to be the schedule that I just said, you know, just get a schedule that works, you know, for you and then just follow it. And 
well, I know that that may be four, but also like, <laughs> also like while you're studying, like try to comprehend this stuff. Don't try to like, at first, when I first started, I was trying to just get through, like, cause you know, you see the progress bar and you're like, all right, I need to be this amount. I, don't, I think I'm moving too slow. I'm moving too fast. I don't think it's a such thing as moving too slow, moving too fast. Just like try to make sure that you understand like what you're doing. Because like, if you don't, when you like, if you don't understand it, why are you doing it? Like imagine trying to understand it like a month later when you're studying, like after you keep studying and you go past that, imagine trying to understand the thing that you didn't understand a month ago. Like it's not, it's just not even fresh on your brain. It's gonna be super hard to like, try to go back and understand it. So yeah, I would just say like, try to make sure you're understanding why you're studying and don't like time yourself. Like, oh, I need to, um, like I'm, I'm gonna take my exam in two months. Or I wanna take it in two months, so I need to hurry up and like, no, that just like, because I didn't schedule my exam until like I was 80% done with the course. So yeah, so I scheduled it then. I was like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna be, I think I emailed you guys. I was like, hey, Panita, I'll be done in like a week with the with the rest of the course. Um, you know, when should I schedule it now? You know, like when should I schedule it and stuff? And then it was like a month later, I think, was when I uh, took it, so yeah. Um, yeah, the, the test gets a lot easier the more prepared you are for it, so. Spend the time now, because when it's test time, you've only got a little bit of time to, to get it done. Um, know your strengths, but also know your weaknesses and believe in yourself because you can. Um, I mean, at the beginning of this year, I, I was really you know wondering, am I gonna be able to do this? Am I really gonna be able to get my FE? And a PE was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna think about that until my FE is done. <laughs> so, that was, uh, you know, that's my mindset. I'm just, I'm working, I'm a dad, I've got all these excuses, <laughs> all these time rest, rest, const, uh, constraints and commitments. Right. And, and now I got to add one more thing to it. And a really big thing. I mean, overall, it's like a part-time job to study really. Um, yeah. So I, 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 I don't think there was one week that I wasn't, that was less than 20 hours a week. So um, you got to put in your time and it will pay off. Believe in yourself and take notice of the little incremental progresses that you are making. So, and little by little that those increments will, will build up and you'll be ready for it. And, and just don't, don't get too worried about the test day. Cause if your time and preparation is ready, then you'll be ready. So. Oh yeah. Everybody now.